I'm Anthony Chan reporting here for Room Now, uh, here in ACR 2024 in Washington. And there have been some very interesting abstracts today uh, looking at the assessment of axial spondyloarthritis, firstly in the whole area of using the scores that we use to measure outcomes. So we traditionally have been using something called the BAS die score, which is the BAF Ankylosing Spondylitis Disease Activity Index. And for a long time, the, there had been an arbitrary cutoff of less than two or more than four in terms of assessing whether the patient is in remission or whether the disease is active. But that ha actually hasn't been validated. So here in uh, ACR 2024, abstract number 0818 looks at the assessment of uh, the BAS die score in comparison to other outcomes such as the S test, the, the ankylosing spondylitis disease activity score, axial spondylar arthritis disease activity score, and they have developed some new cutoffs. And the new cutoffs of remission is the best tie of less than 1.4, low disease activity is the best tie of less than 2.8, and very high disease activity is the best tie of 5.9. Now, one of the things about coming to these meetings is to kind of think what we would do when we get back to our clinics and how we could be using some of the new information. So this is one abstract that I think will, will help us to kind of use the new data in terms of assessing our patients if this, using these new cutoffs, which has some validation. The second uh, abstract in the field of XPA is in uh, abstract number 0819. And this is about the definition of difficult to manage axial spondyloarthritis. All of us will have these patients in our clinic where sometimes they can be difficult to manage for a few reasons. And they have defined the, the situation of these patients who, who have difficult uh, treatment uh, response, they have high disease activity scores, they have uh, raised inflammatory markers such as CRP or positive MRI, and also that they can be clinically assessed as difficult to manage that despite uh, having good objective measures, the patient still has a poor quality of life. So here are some of the things that we can be using in terms of trying to define this population a bit better. And this is uh, work that has come from the ASAS group with 89% concordance among the people who voted for this new definition uh, of difficult to manage excess bone low arthritis. So here we are in ACL24 with these two uh, abstracts from today, uh, 0818 and 0819, which I think will help us inform how we manage our patients with excess bone low arthritis going forward. I'm Anthony Chan reporting for Room Now here in Washington at ACR 2024.